Hello there, in this video I'm modding my 3 year old plus HTC Vive VR headset with the Gear VR lens mod. The reason for making this modification is to improve clarity of the image from the headset, the elimination of god rays and a larger sweet spot. At the end of the video I'll give you my assessment to whether there is a noticeable improvement and would I recommend it. And if I don't like the result, the mod is easily reversible which is useful to know. The cost of this mod was around £10. I 3D printed the adapters and sourced a second-hand 2016 Gear VR from eBay. Um, it's a very cheap mod if you do it yourself. Otherwise, I've seen this mod sold online for around £50, which is um, a bit ridiculous in my opinion. So I'm going to show you how to do it yourself and there's relevant links in the description. First thing, you need to get yourself a 2016 Gear VR headset, uh, buy it secondhand and look on eBay or any other online secondhand marketplace. Uh, make sure it's the black body version and not the white edition as the lenses are of a different size. Secondly, you'll need the lens adapters. I've included a link in the description to the 3D printed model I used. It takes about an hour to print. I printed these at 25% infill in PLA and use black filament as you want the adapters to blend in with the dark surrounding within the headset. With these two components, we are ready to get started. Uh, first, we need to extract the lenses from our Gear VR headset. The headset will be destroyed in the process but that's okay as we only need the lenses and everything else will be discarded. To get started, remove the front plates from the Gear VR headset. Next, remove the four plastic covers shown here. This will reveal the small screws we need to take out. If you don't have a small enough crosshead screwdriver, you can easily drill out the screws as I've done here. And now you can remove the frame from the rest of the headset. Now we have better access to the lenses. If you look closely, you will see three small slots distributed around the edge of the lenses. Uh, these are the clips holding the lenses in place. Uh, to free them, use a small flathead screwdriver and jam it into one of the slots and wiggle it round with some pressure to release the clip. Uh, so you want to be very careful as this is very close to the lens and a slip will easily scratch the lens surface. Just releasing a single clip should be enough for you to prise off the ring with your fingers uh, that's holding the lens from the other side. We now have our new lenses uh, so we can clear the deck and bin the rest of the broken gear VR headset. With the dome side of the lens facing down, line up the lens with the adapter frame and press firmly to seat into place. Repeat the same process for the other lens and then we can set them aside and move on to the next step. And this will be removing the lenses out from the HTC Vive headset and the scary part for most people. Uh, but it's not very difficult, the lenses are retained by friction and a rubber glue around the edge of the lens. So, you need to prise out the lens with a small flathead screwdriver, uh, get between the lens and the frame and pop out the lens. And of course, take a lot of care to avoid making contact with the surface of the lens, which is made out of plastic. Before inserting the new lenses, use a dust blower or can of compressed air to clean out the cavities. Any fragments left inside will be magnified through the lenses, so you need to ensure there's no debris. 
Next, give the Gear VR lenses a good clean to remove dust and smudges. And finally, place the new lenses into the HTC Vive. Uh, once seated, they should hold in place without any problem. And that's our hardware taken care of. However, we do need to alter a configuration file. The new lenses will distort the image, giving you a warping effect when you pan your head in VR. Uh, that's commonly referred to as barrel distortion. So we'll move on to that fix next. Refer to the video description, you'll find a link to the instructions on how to perform this task. And fair warning, read the instructions twice. Follow them precisely, otherwise you can temporarily disable your headset as the configuration is written to the hardware. The first part of the process is downloading the configuration file, um, as this needs to be edited by replacing a section with different settings and then sent back to the hardware. Uh, so duplicate this file, email it to yourself, just keep a separate copy in case you need to revert back to the original settings. For instance, if you were to make an error in the process, you'll need that original file, or if you're to reinstall the original lenses, you'll need to restore the configuration too. So it's very important you retain a backup of that file. On this page, you'll find multiple versions of the bow distortion fix. For me, I found version 3 to give me the best results. However, you may find one of the others is better for your headset. And worst possible scenario, none of these settings give you the perfect results that you're after and you'll need to manually edit the configuration. Um, if you do need to go down that route, there's some additional information on this page too. Uh, fortunately, I didn't need to do that. And now we're in the final segment of the video and my review of the mod. And uh, what do I think? Well, it's really amazing. Um, I am very, very impressed. Using the Gear VR lenses, the image quality is clearer. The improvement in clarity is quite uh, astounding. Uh, the sweet spot is definitely larger as well. The periphery of the image is very clear. Uh, there's no longer a slight blur to the overall picture either, um, which I understand now is one of the negative features of Fresnel lenses. So there you go. Noticeably, games where you're gazing at distant features and objects appear sharper, uh, which used to appear very blurred through the original lenses. Uh, this improvement comes across significantly in sim racing titles and combat games where you're often focusing into the distance. Um, and this blur is now gone. Um, it's just a clean looking clear image. And there's no reduction in the field of view as that's a valid question you may also ask. Of course, this modification doesn't increase the resolution but the picture just looks sharper through the Gear VR lenses. Um, it's quite amazing. And this is why a lot of HTC Vive owners have installed these lenses, and you'll generally find positive reviews for this modification, with only a few instances where HTC Vive owners have not got on with the mod. The only negative I would put forward is um, installing these lenses brings them closer to your eyes by around six millimeters. And if you're a glasses wearer in VR, the lenses being brought nearer may be a problem fitting the headset over your glasses. Uh, but for anyone else, I can't think of a compelling reason not to recommend this mod. It's a significant upgrade to the image quality. I really can't understate how much of an improvement this really makes. I'm very happy I modded my headset and I wish I did this earlier. Um, if like me you have an aging HTC Vive which is out of warranty, um, you may be considering replacing the headset with the uh, Valve Index, uh, but maybe this mod is worth exploring before you pull the trigger on shelling out on a new headset. You may find the improvement this modification makes is enough to make you hang on to your current headset a little while longer. And that's exactly what I'm feeling right now. I've been revisiting a few of my favourite VR games, testing these new lenses, and it's like my eyes have been upgraded with everything looking better than ever through my HTC Vive. If you're watching this video and you've already made this modification to your headset, please drop a comment under the video and let me know what you think. Okay then, uh, so we're going to end the video now. Um, if you found this guide useful, please hit the like to support the channel and uh, maybe consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care and bye-bye uh, for now.